dear parents, children, caregivers, and heirs, all pointers. Today is the last day of catechetical year, and I would like to thank each one of you for being so wonderful throughout the years. And I'm sure you all have learned a lot, and now it is the time to put it into practice. So yesterday we celebrate Mother's Day and it is very important to appreciate our mothers and say thank you to them because they do a lot for us. But don't forget to our Heavenly Mother and the Church Mother. They are very important in our life as this month is month of May and we say also month of Rosary. So we have to pray the Rosary as our Heavenly Mother, Mother Mary, always ask the children, especially we know, in Fatma she asks the little kids that pray the rosary. And today she is going to ask you, me and all of us to pray the rosary. A rosary is very important to pray for peace and unity in the world. And if you see in the church, we have a beautiful decoration, we have flowers, and it means that Easter season is going on and we are celebrating Easter season. This is a Paschal mystery. To know about the Paschal mystery, it is also very important. We know our Lord Jesus Christ suffered, died and resurrected. And this is the time we have to pray. We have to remember that the Lord has done a lot for us. So we have to do something for him. So, very important to pray and get time to come to the church or pray at home with the family, rosary, personal prayer. All the prayers are very important and very important to be in contact with Jesus Christ. As the summer is going on, and I know summer is right away on the corner, so everybody is going for a vacation. I know it is very important to relax, but I always say there is no vocation from Jesus Christ. You have to find the church wherever you go and continue to pray, and prayer should be your center. Christ should be the center of your life all the time because we are here. We got help. We are saved from all the uh, evil things. So we are here. God has put us in his hand and we are here to uh, love him and to pray to him and ask his blessing and all the blessings whatever he has given us we have to say thank you to our Lord and at the end I uh, request our parents that we always need your help I know this religious formation program is run because of you you are always helping us and you are always there whenever we need you so we still have some openings in all areas, like a carry case, airs, hall monitors. So whatever you can do, please, uh, it is in the bulletin. Also, we put our whatever we need for the religious formation classes. So please just help us, that would be great. And also, the registration for next year is going on. So it is beautiful before you go for vacation, enjoy your summer. So please register your children so that we can start working on that. But throughout the summer, uh, please know uh, you will find all the upcoming events through the Sunday bulletins or uh, electronic bulletins, emails from the religious formation. Or you can also call us anytime or email us. We will be here working for you and we are here to serve you. And thank you so much again for all you do. God bless you and always remember Jesus loves us. And now I invite Greta, she will sing for us. When we hear God's word, we listen with our hearts, and we live in the way God shows us. For God calls us to share with all the good news of God's salvation. The good news of God's salvation, that God is love. Loves me and you. 
Together we pray. O oh God, you bring us all the blessings so that we may glorify your name. We are thankful that you gave us this whole year to glorify you through our religious formation program in our parish. It was an opportunity for each one of us to learn, share, and strengthen our faith. We are thankful that we have been able to be this year. Lord, give us the courage to live our faith so that your name may be glorified and your kingdom be accomplished. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please remain standing for the Gospel reading, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus, to what shall we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that when it is sown in the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Now we will trusting in the Father's steadfast love, let us offer him our prayers for this day. For children and young people who have not had the opportunity to learn about Jesus and the Christian way of life that teachers will be sent to them soon. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for this catechist and all ministers who have shared their love for Jesus with us this year, that they will have a happy summer knowing they have done good work. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For open minds to accept the teachings of Jesus that come to us from family, friends, and teachers. Help us to welcome the words of Jesus and take them to heart. We pray to the Lord. For prayerful hearts that think about Jesus' message and try to understand what it tells us about living with others in peace and harmony. We pray to the Lord. For our Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and deacons, and especially Father Tom, who are the leading teachers in our church, that they have wisdom and patience as they lead us in the way of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let us join together in the prayer that Jesus taught us and pray for each other that we will choose to grow more like Christ this summer. Our Father, who art in heaven, Thy will be done, honor as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Together we pray. Heavenly Father, we are thankful for bringing us together to praise you and worship you. Help us to know you better, so that we may preach the good news effectively to our children, families, and community. Use us for your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. And now we invite Brennan Hampton, our one of our seventh graders, to come up. At the last catechetical year session of 2021, we would like to thank all those who helped us during this year. We would also like to thank our catechists, aides, building coordinators, hall monitors, religious formation assistants, parents, the religious formation staff, parish staff, siblings and family members who have helped us with projects and made sure that we got to our sessions. Thank, thanks to all the friends who listened to our stories about what we were learning. We would also like to express our deep gratitude to our pastor, Father Tom, and to Deacon Paul, Deacon Mike, Deacon Bill, and Deacon Kevin, who always support us and pray for us. Our thanks also go to our PCL, Miss Miriam Nawab, and the religious formation staff, the parish staff, and the Paris family who helped us to keep track of all the things we needed to do. Thank you to all those who plow snow and mow grass, the crew that keep our buildings in good repair, the people who publish our textbooks and other stuff we use during the year, the parish community who prayed for us, the firefighters and police officers who were always ready to keep us safe, the trash collectors who keep our parish and city clean. We wish, we wish you all a good and pleasant summer. May God bless each one of you for your dedication for the church. On behalf of Father Tom, all the deacons, parish and religious formation staff, we all wish you a very happy summer. Our summer blessing. May you be blessed with an abundance of physical activity and good health. Amen. Amen. May you enjoy the presence of Jesus with you in play and work and be blessed with joy and peace. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you.